Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a step-by-step -step video tutorial as a guest designer for the Crafters Workshop. Enjoy! The canvas I used for this project is an 8x8 gallery canvas. The uh, first thing I did is use some Prima Heavy White Gesso and applied it to the background, um, spreading it across the canvas to cover all the areas. Once the gesso was dry, I used a sponge applicator to apply some color to the background. I use both turquoise and lime green shimmery colors from Pebeo and just cover the whole canvas on its sides too. Once the paint was dry, I used the Crafters Workshop Many Faces stencil with black gesso and applied it with a sponge to create the face. While the face was drying, I used some masking tape and covered the feathers I didn't want to use. I wanted to use the background silhouette ones, so I covered the other ones with some masking tape. This stencil from the Crafters Workshop is called For Feathers. Then I started applying the black gesso through the feathers to create a headdress to the face. I needed to clean the stencil because I wanted to flip it around so I could use the same feathers and going in the other direction. I let the first feathers I applied to dry a little bit and then once I flipped the stencil I applied some more feathers at the top of the head. I let the black feathers dry and took off the masking tape from the silhouette feathers and mas used some masking tape to cover those that I had used so I could use the regular feathers on top of the silhouette. I used Prima Finna Bear's modeling paste to silhouette over the background black feathers. And I went around on each feather, making sure I match each one and drying in between so they wouldn't smush each other.
I started shading in the face using some gelatos. I started with a peach color gelato and then went on to darker shades of uh, light brown and then dark browns. Also use some blues and purples to highlight around the face on the outside just so to get some shading on the outside and highlight the face better. By putting these darker shades all around I was able to uh, let the face and hair stand out even more. Since I had covered some of the stenciled face area with um, the gelatos, I used a black Posca pen and just highlighted all the areas where the face um, was needed to be highlighted, the eyes and the eyebrows and the nose, the mouth, the face, just to make sure that all of them would be sticking out even more. I started coloring the feathers using some fluorescent orange and fluorescent pink. I used my fingers and just painted the white areas of the feathers. I actually love the color combination so much that I decided that I wanted the background to be pink and orange instead of blue and green. So I started coloring in using the fluorescent pink and fluorescent orange all around. Although it had the blue in the background, it helped to give it a little bit more shade. So it did help that I had put the gelatos in the background because they blended nicely with the colors and gave it a really nice shading. I also painted the edges of the canvas to make sure it all tied in together.
I used a red watercolor pencil to shade in the lips and I also used a little bit of a pink watercolor pencil to just lighten this color a little bit. Then I use a white watercolor pencil to just shade in the white areas in the eye. Then I use the green Molotov acrylic pen for the iris and then the Posca pen to color in the black pupil. continued working with the Posca pens first with the white one and then with the black one to add some highlights and then highlight the feathers with the black one all around Once I finished highlighting with the black Posca pen, then I used the white one to create some highlights as well. I wanted to create some more interest to the background so I used this 6x6 butterfly collage from the crafters workshop and some white gesso and I just basically dabbed some butterflies onto the background around the hair and around the face. Then I also used the gesso to create some paint circles in different areas just to add a little bit more interest. Again, I used the black Posca pen and highlighted the butterflies and all the paint circles all around to just make them stand out in the, from the background. the black gelato to create a border around the canvas. Then I use the black gelato again to just cover a small piece of watercolor paper. Then I use modeling paste to create a butterfly on the background using the solid butterfly stencil from the crafters workshop. Once it was dry, I cut it up and then used the same fluorescent colors, orange and pink, to color in the area where the modeling paste was. Once the butterfly was dry, I stuck it onto the hair the feathered hair using some gel medium. I felt like my face needed a little bit more shading, so I added a little bit more shading using again the peach color gelato and the light and dark brown gelatos, and that helped bring in some shadows onto the face. I used 
use the white Posca pen to create some splatters onto the background. And then the black Posca pen to highlight the butterfly around the feathers. Finally, I use a crackle stencil from the Crafters Workshop and the black gesso and dab the stencil on the edges of the canvas to create another pattern on all the sides. And to make the edges be all equal, I use the black gelato to just create a shadow and edge around all the corners. If you're interested in the products I used, you will find the product list and links below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Or you can hit the link above for another one of my videos. Bye!